Puglia is famous for a lot of things. It's olive groves, it's picturesque streets, the beautiful coastline. But there's, there's also something else that this region is known for, and that is the mafia. I know what you must be thinking, Italy and mafia, how cliched, but it's also true. This region is home to Italy's fourth organized crime group. They infiltrate almost everything from local businesses to the government. So what explains this mafia culture? And more importantly, will it affect the G7 summit? We decided to find out. Great weather, not a lot of buzz, and awesome food. This is probably why Giorgia Maloney chose Puglia to host the G7. It oozes weekend getaway vibes. The locals are never rushed, the cafes are never packed, and the roads never busy. But beneath this calm, Puglia and Bari are hiding a secret. I'm going to make them an offer they can't refuse. That's right. Bari has a mafia problem. Look at these headlines in the local media. Maimings, kneecappings and death threats. All classic signs of a mafia turf war. Italy has three main organized crime groups. Cosa Nostra in Sicily, Camorra in Naples and Drangheta in Calabria. The one in Puglia is emerging as the fourth one, the Sacra Corona Mafia. So how bad is the situation? In Italy, the Mafia often infiltrate public projects. Say there's a residential complex or a bridge being built, the Mafia will attach themselves to it. They will infiltrate local governments. And this is more common than you would imagine. Earlier this year, a mayor near Bari was arrested for trying to buy votes from the Mafia. Elsewhere, 15 town councils have been dissolved over mafia infiltration. So the equation around here seems to be quite clear. If you want to remain in power, you have to make deals with the mafia. The Puglia Mafia has 30 clans. Put together, they have around 5,000 members, nearly all of them men. Their main business is drug trafficking. See this long and pretty coastline? You may think it's great for tourism and trade, but the mafia sees it differently. For them, the coast is great to smuggle drugs. This illegal trade generates billions of dollars in revenue. And what do they do with it? Most of it is laundered back through proper businesses, like hotels and restaurants. Business principal Drug trafficking is the main business. Narcotics are truly the main objective. Then, that is always accompanied by extortion. Usury and now, like all over the national territory, we have infiltration into the public administration and procurement. This whole mafia business raises three questions. One, what explains the mafia culture in Italy? Two, is anyone fighting against it? And three, will it endanger the G7? To answer these questions, we visited the University of Bari. Professor Marilu Mastra Giovanni teaches journalism there. She is a crusader against the mafia. The mafia always pursues its profit motive at any cost. Every opportunity for profit is seized. Modern mafias mold themselves on economic and social changes. They adapt to socioeconomic and even political changes. So during the pandemic, the Mafia found the ideal terrain to proliferate a situation of instability, of emergency, a liquidity crisis on the part of companies, on the part of families. I know what you're thinking. Italy and Mafia, how dramatic and Hollywoodesque. Well, yes. Consider what happened in February this year. A judge in southern Italy got a rude surprise at her front door. A beheaded goat and a butcher's knife covered in blood. Next to it was a chilling message. It said, like this. And what was the judge's fault? Issuing arrest warrants for 22 mafia members. So yes, it is very dramatic. Professor Mastra Giovanni was also targeted by the mafia. The threats forced her to move her family away. For more than 20 years, the mafia has been interested in me. It did so in various ways, first with soft signals, i.e. telephone threats. Then there were a series of episodes of damage to the editorial office of the Heel of Italy, 
up to the theft of all the computers in the editorial office, all the way to the threats towards me as a person towards my family, like the episode of my dog being clubbed to death. The question is, will it also jeopardize the G7? Looks unlikely right now. More than 5,000 soldiers have been deployed in the Puglia region. A U.S. aircraft carrier is on its way to Puglia as we speak. So the summit venue itself is like a fortress under lockdown. We've been moving around Bari all day and this place is crawling with police officers. So the G7 summit may not be at risk. But what about life beyond the summit? By the end of this week, world leaders would have come and left. But the people here, the locals, will continue to live in fear. For them, the mafia is not some Hollywood villain on the silver screen. It is very much a part of their life. Fan of Italy's famous cuisine? Well, we are serving it with a side of diplomacy. As the G7 leaders gather in southern Italy, Vantage is taking you to the heart of the action. What's the agenda? Who is invited? And how is Italy preparing for it? Catch the special edition of Vantage throughout this week, only on First Post. Fan of Italy's famous cuisine? Well, we are serving it with a side of diplomacy. As G7 leaders gather in southern Italy, Vantage is taking you to the heart of the action. What's the agenda? Who's invited? And how is Italy preparing for it? Catch the special edition of Vantage throughout this week, only on First Post. First Post reports from the world's second largest continent. Hello, I'm Alison LaGrange. A very warm welcome from Durban, South Africa. We get you the news and the newsmakers from Africa. From elections, to climate change, to innovations and opportunities. As the world's attention shifts, we report from Africa, the heart of the Global South. Join me every weekday live on First Post. Fan of Italy's famous cuisine? Well, we are serving it with a side of diplomacy. As the G7 leaders gather in southern Italy, Vantage is taking you to the heart of the action. What's the agenda? Who is invited? And how is Italy preparing for it? Catch the special edition of Vantage throughout this week, only on First Post. <laughs>